financial future is hopefully going to be good. Um, I've got a good degree from a good university and we'll be starting a job in, in an industry that I want to pursue my career in. So hopefully I will be a lot more stable and financially um, in a better financial situation in the future. But I do think that because I want to go and work in the public sector and maybe doing more creative sort of roles, I'm less likely to be paid as much as some of my friends who might be working in the corporate or banking sphere. I think that I'll do okay. I um, I don't see there being a point in my life where there'll ever be a stage where I won't earn any money. I mean, I enjoy creating a service for people. I obviously work in retail, I serve people daily. I then do people's makeup, um, which I really, really am passionate about. Obviously then dress designing and dress making. And with the mentality I've got on making sure that, you know, I'm not in any debt, and I don't spend too much money and I don't spend money that I don't actually have, I think that I'll do okay in the future. I, well, I mean, I hope so. I think I've got, the, I've got a good mentality for it and I am passionate about what I do and the money comes along with that. So I think it just, yeah, I think I'll do okay. Um, so I chose a career that I was more passionate about rather than um, a field to fulfill my financial greed. So I feel like the definition of financially well is quite different for me. Um, I mean, if I have enough money to cover for my necessities and I'm not constantly worrying about my expenses, I think that would be a good position to be in. Um, but I, I do know it's um, a diff the perception of money is different for everyone and what they want from life is different. So. I do account for those differences. I'm ambitious and hardworking. Uh, I've got a career progression path lined up with my current employer. Um, so hopefully if I carry on working hard, um, everything will pay off. I'd probably say budget. Um, an, old, um, an old friend of mine said that she takes out her entire monthly salary out of her account and actually puts it into separate envelopes and the envelope method um, essentially you separate it by week and you live off that envelope for the week. Um, I've used it a couple of times um, when things have got tough um, and I think it really really works um, for budgeting and seeing where you're going to spend your money. So the biggest bit of financial advice I wish I listened to when I was younger was uh, save the pennies and the pounds will save themselves. Um, I didn't start saving my own money young. Um, I got my savings account unlocked a few years ago. And I had a good year, a really good year, but I can use that money now as a nice deposit on my own little flat. So I'd definitely say start saving young and um, yeah, have fun with it. The financial advice that I wish I'd paid more attention to is saving. I think that everybody should have savings for a rainy day and I definitely didn't pay enough attention to that um, advice that was given to me many times um, and saving money and putting money away when I didn't necessarily need to be spending it um, I think is something that everybody should be doing especially when something happens like now um, with the lockdown there's a lot of financial insecurity and instability um, and I think that having some money just saved for in case you need it, in case something bad happens, would have been really, really helpful. So I think this situation has taught me that that is a very important piece of advice and I should have listened to it earlier. Mm -hmm.